Hi, it's Miglena from ThePoeDancer.com. Welcome to a new tutorial series called 50 Shades of Grip. There are few essential concepts every pole dancer must know. One is hand grips and correct muscle engagement. In the following videos, I'm going to cover the common mistakes and the correct technique of six of the most used hand grips in pole dancing. This is true grip, strong hold grip, half bracket grip, full bracket grip, form grip and twisted grip. The last grip of this series is the twisted grip. But before we get started, I want you to be an active student. Can you spot the mistakes in the following video? Watch closely. Did you spot the mistakes? Pause right now, rewind and watch again. Ready? Here's the correct technique. The easiest way to get into the twisted grip is to start on the side of the pole with a regular true grip and to walk in front of the pole. This is going to start twisting your arm. The first thing you want to make sure is that in the twisted grip you stay tilted to the side and not vertical. This is going to take some of the twist out of your arm and it's going to bring your shoulder in a stronger position to pull down on the pole. But let's have a look at the reverse spin. The upper back is on the pole and the hips are out. Top arm is pulling down, bottom arm is pushing down on the pole. Some people like to keep the bottom arm straight. But you will have a better support if you bend your elbow, bring it on the side of the pole and then pulling the pole towards your body. Were some of these tips new to you? Try them in your next training and let me know if you've noticed a difference. And share your insights in the comments below. One last thing before you go, there is a new video guide on how to create a choreography from scratch. It's for free and you can get it on thepoledancer.com slash choreographing. In this video, I'll guide you through the exact process of structuring a choreography according to the music and planning out the creative steps. You go from a blank page to having a clear idea of what your choreo is going to look like. You find practical examples and a template that you can start using right away for your new choreography. Get them on thepoledancer.com slash choreographing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.